I wrote my first book in a graduate level creative writing class at the University of Kentucky. The assignment for the class was to write 50 pages of something publishable. So you ask yourself, what's publishable? I didn't know. I went to the bookstore, I looked around, and what was on the shelves at the time were historical romances. There were shelves and shelves and shelves of them. And I had never read a historical romance. I took a couple home, I read them, and they were great. I loved them, they were wonderful, and I thought, I can do this. So I put everything I had into those first 50 pages. There was action, there was romance, and there was lots and lots of sex. So, when he told me I had to read it out loud, I thought, oh, no way. Finished the class, I got an A, and I didn't know what to do with those first 50 pages. So I sent them into a publisher, along with a little synopsis, and they bought it. I had six weeks to finish the rest of the book, which I did, and it's now, it's been in print for 34 years, it's Island Flying. So I've been writing ever since. This new book I'm writing is set in the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. I've visited Alaska and I think it's a beautiful place and there's not that much done with it. And the thing I like about this setting is it is so remote. The problem you have writing romantic suspense or thrillers today is everybody has a cell phone. So you can pick up a cell phone and call for help. So in the Aleutian Islands, you can't call for help. It snows the whole time on this particular island and part of the struggle that they have is battling the elements as well as the bad guy. 